After four long years, I have finally played this game. Yeah, so this game came out about four years ago exclusively for PlayStation 4. And I've been a Spider-Man fan for 20 years now, but I never had a PlayStation and at this point I don't really want a PlayStation. So I was sad, but I just let that awesome looking game pass me by. Fast forward to this year, and when the announcement was made that this game was coming to PC, which is how I game, I was like, no way. Really? I'm finally gonna be able to play it myself? Alright, pre-order, let's do this. And I downloaded it the minute it became available, I spent this entire past weekend playing it, and I just beat the main story last night, so now, after four long years, let's finally talk about this game on my channel. Spider-Man. So Spider-Man is brought to us by Insomniac Games. Like I said, it came out four years ago exclusively for PlayStation because Sony. But the remastered edition with the new Peter Parker face just got released for PC. And so now I finally played it and oh my god, this game is every bit as awesome as everyone says. So in this Spider-Man game, Peter Parker has been Spider-Man for eight years now. So we don't go over the origin story, we get it. He's a more experienced Spider-Man, and now we have our open city Spider-Man adventure. I'll say this game has two main villains, the first being Mr. Negative, who is a lesser known villain. I'm sure a lot of Spider-Man fans were introduced to him via this game, including myself. The second main villain is kind of a spoiler, but I mean, the game's been out for four years, so I'm gonna say who it is. It's Otto Octavius, AKA Dr. Octopus. They're the two main villains of this game. There are plenty other Spider-Man villains in this game that are featured. Like at a point we're like, oh god, okay, we got the Sinister Six now. Finally, a Sinister Six adventure that's pulled off well. And if I'm talking about the characters, all right, first of all, our Peter Parker, AKA Spider-Man here, he is the classic Spider-Man that we all know and love. He shoots out quips when he's taking out bad guys and it's super hilarious. Like there are some points where like right in the middle of combat, he'll spit out a line and I'll be laughing out loud. It's great. That's something that Tom Holland Spider-Man is kind of missing these days. I'm just saying, I mean, I love Tom Holland Spider-Man, but that is true. And when you're swinging around the city, which is super fun, I'll get to that in a minute, you're looking for crime, you have your friend in the police department, her name is Yuri Watanabe. She's pretty much your Commissioner Gordon, but for Spider-Man instead. She and Spidey have been friends for a while, they have banter back and forth, it's also really funny. Spider Cop. Mary Jane Watson is in the game because what is Spider-Man without a love interest? It'd be missing something. The relationship that the two of them have in this game in particular is really interesting because I don't think I've ever seen a relationship like this in a Spider-Man story, or at least not recently. She knows his secret identity, and she wants to work with him to save the city. It's, it's interesting to me, because she's got some guts for sure. But if I'm going to touch on the villains, I do want to talk about Mr. Negative, because he is the villain that does get the most focus in this game. And he's all right. His powers look awesome. These energy blasts will come out of him, and the screen will get all negative colored. The boss fights with him and his goons are really cool. But he himself as a character, I mean, I get his motives, I guess. He has a grudge against Norman Osborn, who's mayor of the city in this game. He's not Green Goblin yet. Although I'll say Norman Osborn, as a businessman and mayor, he's made a lot of enemies in his life. That much is certain. Otto Octavius has a grudge against him too. And that works into his whole character arc when he becomes Doc Ock. In fact, Otto Octavius is one of the deepest characters in this entire game. I ended up really loving his character arc, more so than Mr. Negative's. Because he starts out as a friend and mentor to Peter Parker. And in fact, their relationship that they have together is a lot more interesting and more dynamic than his relationship with MJ to me. I mean, it's because Otto goes through a bigger change. But I just found myself surprised, like at the end of the game, that final boss fight against Doc Ock, those moments, those epic, awesome, emotional moments, they really hit hard. That was some good stuff right there. I mean, as far as the story goes in this game, I'll say it is really good. I won't say it's the best Spider-Man story I've ever experienced in my life. I'll say I don't like the story as much as No Way Homes, for example. I'm not saying the story in this game is bad at all, not in the slightest. It's fantastic, it's awesome. I'm just saying personal preference. I mean, the story starts out, he's already been Spider-Man for eight years. And I know that we've seen the origin story a million times over, but just the story without the origin, I do feel like it is missing a little something. That's just me though. For me, the story didn't get like really, really awesome until towards the end. For the most part, I was like, yeah, this is fun. I'm being Spider-Man, swinging around the city, stopping crime, progressing, all is well and good. It's fine. In fact, it's better than fine since I just love Spider-Man. But then towards the end, I was like, oh, oh, so this is why people are raving about this game's story so much. Yeah, all right, I get it now. Fantastic. Of course, the addicting part of this game is the gameplay. Just swinging around New York City, I mean, that's obviously nothing new to a Spider-Man game. Every Spider-Man game features swinging around the city. 
And I've done that before. I had the Spider-Man 3 game for the Wii. I swung around the city all the time in that game. But you know, depending on the game, the physics of the swinging, how far you can go, how high you can get, it varies from game to game. In this one, I felt it was really smooth. Cause you know, sometimes when you're swinging, you're like, oh crap, I'm about to hit a building. In this game, if that happens, he'll just run up the building if he hits it, and then he'll leap over, and then you can swing a web, you can just keep going. So smooth. If you're going over buildings, you can do web zips. It works really well. I just love swinging throughout the city. I'm not even like looking for crime or anything to do. I just like swinging. That's like a favorite pastime of mine. And if you just look around this city, it's enormous. It's Manhattan Island. And you'll see like other Marvel stuff. Like for example, there was a point where I came across the Sanctum Sanctorum. I was like, holy crap, what's Doctor Strange doing in this universe? You're like, all right, so this is a universe where other Marvel superheroes are established. That's awesome. Maybe in later games, they'll come into the story in some way, shape or form. I don't know. One of my favorite things about this game though is the suits. Yeah, this game has a feature in which you can pick from a whole collection of different Spider-Man suits. And I'm not gonna lie, the one I chose, I chose the good old Tobey Maguire suit. I pre-ordered the game so it came with that and I bathed the nostalgia with that suit, man. I played like 95% of the story wearing that suit because come on. For me, Tobey Maguire will always be like the definitive Spider-Man. He's the first one I ever saw. And the Raimi movies really taught me what Spider-Man is, what it's supposed to be, what it's supposed to feel like. So I went around as Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, but that being said, each of the different suits that you unlock in this game, they come with these things called suit powers that give you extra abilities that'll give you an edge in combat. And you can equip different suit powers to you at any given time. And I use different ones throughout the game. One makes you bulletproof, I use that one a lot now. The one I use the most is the one that came with the Stark suit, that's the suit from Spider-Man Homecoming. That little spider bro drone that you remember from that movie, you can use that and it'll take out guys during combat, that's really useful. And it's useful because if I'm getting into the combat in this game, it's kinda tough. I mean considering that I'm using a keyboard and mouse instead of a PS4 controller. Like basic punching, yeah, it's just click click click. But if you want to do different like combos and stuff, you gotta hit F and then you gotta hit left control. Like I was like, oh, my fingers. And then if you want to do a finisher, you gotta hit two. When you're in the middle of combat and your brain is like in the zone, you don't have time to be like, wait, I gotta find that button on the keyboard, you know? So that was a bit rough for me and it still kind of is. That being said, there's some awesome stuff you can do in this game combat wise. It's actually, it's amazing. Cause it's not just punch, punch here, web, web there. Again, Spidey's been Spidey for eight years now, so he's gonna have some pretty cool gadgets up his sleeve. One of my favorite things to do though is if an enemy has a big gun or something, you can yank that gun from him, spin it around and just throw it right back at him. Just be like, I'll take that, <laughs> boink. Just nail him in the head, I love that. My other favorite is the impact webs. Like I'll be facing off with a bunch of guys, I'll take them all out and there'll be just one guy left standing. He'll be like, all right, it's just you and me now, Spider-Man. Then I'll just use an impact web. It'll pin him up against the wall and I'll be like, you just stick around for a while. It's great, it's hilarious. If I have a couple of gripes about this game and I do have a couple of minor ones, there are some parts in the story that require a mandatory stealth mission where you play as like Mary Jane, where you're going around, you're sneaking behind bad guys. I'm like, I, I don't like this. I mean, not that they were difficult, they just seemed unnecessary. They brought the momentum of the game down for me. That's what it was because She's not fighting, she can't fight. I've been so used to being Spider-Man and beating the piss out of these bad guys, now I have to sneak around them? That's a buzzkill. And also with Miles Morales, who I can't believe I haven't touched on yet. Yeah, Miles Morales is introduced in this game. And just like Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, this game gives you a great origin story for his iteration of Spider-Man. In fact, it does a fantastic job at establishing why he is worthy of being Spider-Man. He's such a good person. And now I have two versions of Miles Morales that I can totally get behind and I can't wait to experience both of their further adventures. And then of course there are the extras. You know, side missions and stuff you can do. You got the entirety of Manhattan Island. You got a whole city to clean up looking for crime. Stuff involving Felicia Hardy, Black Cat, who is a character I absolutely love. Stuff involving Harry Osborn or Tombstone, who's a lesser known Spider-Man villain who's been in the comics. You can take pictures of New York landmarks, which there are a lot of apparently. I don't know, just as someone who personally is just not the biggest fan of New York, the city, like in real life, eh, it's too cramped and rainy for me. But if you're Spider-Man and swinging around, it's not a bad place to live. And I gotta touch on the music in this game. The score was written by John Pisano, who also wrote that awesome theme for the Netflix Daredevil show. Da -da 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 -da. His theme for this game is funny, cause it's a really good theme, it works for the web head. I mean, it doesn't hold a candle to Danny Elfman or Hans Zimmer in my opinion. But upon hearing it, you know, it goes da, 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 da. And I was like, isn't that the exact same theme as the Obi-Wan series? Yeah, it pretty much is. 
I'll say it works a lot better for Spider-Man in this game than it did for Obi-Wan. But in the end, I love this masterpiece of a game. I'm glad I'm finally able to play it, and of course, I'm not done yet. Gotta do that DLC City That Never Sleeps stuff now. I already just started the Black Cat part. I'm loving it so far. I love the gameplay. The combat is a little rough for me, but I don't hate it. There's some awesome ways to take out baddies. The villains are great for the most part. The design of everything I think is top notch. Swinging around the city is an absolute blast. The story is really good. And then towards the end, it gets epic and awesome. Fantastic game. If you don't have a PlayStation, it's now available on PC. Go nuts. Play it to your heart's content, because that's what I'm going to do. And as far as the sequel games are concerned, you know, Spider-Man Miles Morales came out about two years ago, exclusively for PS5. So maybe it'll come to PC in two years. I don't know. And then there's going to be Spider-Man 2, which will feature co-op play, I guess. Plus Kraven the Hunter and Venom. Awesome. Plus Insomniac Games is also working on a Wolverine game, which should be awesome. I think it's taking place in the same universe as this one. I don't know when I'm going to be able to play these upcoming games whenever they come to PC, if they do. All good things to those who wait, I guess. But for now, Spider-Man. Have you played it? Have you played it now that it's on PC? If you don't have a PlayStation, what are your thoughts on it? Which Spidey suit was your go-to? What suit power? And are you looking forward to the upcoming games in this universe? Whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And of course, thank you for subscribing. We're on the cusp of 2,000 subscribers. Oh my god, that's awesome. Seriously, thank you all for watching. Peace! Let's finally talk about this game. Wow, okay, I hit my mic. <laughs>